So there was a guy who was responsible for getting water for us, and he towed it in on his head. He'd have a bucket, oh my gosh, bigger than this. And you'd be amazed seeing people carrying things on their head. And so I've tried to practice. I've not been very good. I, I, sometimes I can get it to balance, but then I, there's no way I could walk 12 miles to market. So he'd have a bucket full of water. It didn't take me forever. <gasps> Somebody's speaking good thoughts for me in here. Now, could I walk 12 miles? <laughs> I have to have a whole lot more practice. But he was telling people that, oh, if only I could just have the water that the missionaries used. If I could just have their shower water, then maybe my baby daughter won't die. So just think that our bath water is cleaner than the water that's available for them to drink. When I heard him say that, I came back to America, I'm living my life, and then I thought, for some reason it just crossed my mind, and I thought, okay, how much water does it take for me to wash my van? Hmm. How much water does it take to fix a cup of tea? How much water does it take for me to brush my teeth? How much water does it take to mop my kitchen floor? Then later on that day, I made a pot of spaghetti. And when I poured the water off of the spaghetti, I just froze, wishing I could pull all that water back out of the drain, thinking of how nutritious just that water alone.